Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 4th of April uh, 2011 and a happy trading to you all. Uh, this video is about uh, gold, gold, spot gold, okay? And uh, we are looking at a monthly chart of spot gold, okay? And uh, if we start uh, drawing very fast on this chart, uh, all the channels that uh, we can see on this uh, uh, chart of uh, gold, okay, the, f the monthly chart, of gold we quickly draw uh, all our lines here as uh, i have uh, this uh, simple charting software so bear with me as i'm trying to find my way around this uh, uh, simple charting okay that's it this is our channel and you can see that since 2009 gold was riding this uh, channel and uh, it remained intact uh, within that channel okay if we draw our middle line also uh, we can see that uh, gold uh, has uh, uh, now switched from the upper side of the channel to the lower side of the channel lower part of the channel okay because if you have a channel that is rising okay the upper side of the channel is uh, very very bullish okay and the lower part is bullish but not as bullish as the upper part okay and if you pop out of the channel and go down very fast we want to see it come down and go down very fast which means the price is under a bearish pressure okay so rushing down okay only to try to come back up to retest which means the bear will sell it okay the bull will try to take control of the price okay to bring it back inside the channel which means the retest of the price of this channel at this point in time okay and if the bull fell to bring it inside the channel and the bear took control again here selling it down that would be excellent place to sell okay now for those of you who are new to us so we are the tscws for s 8 traders okay and we will use the tscws for s 8 trading system to enter the trade okay we do not trade like ordinary traders we will use our trading tool because it's very important to understand that uh, what the price doing because the price in a rising channel which is very bullish okay now it switched from the upper side here was a very bullish some traders sold it at the edge here okay it tried to go near again here some people sold it again bring it inside the lower part now we are stuck here okay we will watch carefully what's happening here okay if you receive a signal on this zone here to sell we place our stop loss behind the middle line here okay and uh, if you bring it out down very fast okay take some profit and uh, the bull will try to bring it back inside okay so we are not saying that we should sell gold it's not this video it's not about sell gold that's it sell gold no this is technical analysis about gold okay no one know where the price will go until we receive a clear cut signal to sell very important so this is what we see on the uh, monthly chart of uh, gold the price went up first okay try to go down which is an invitation for bulls to enter the market the bull responded to the invitation here and they did control the price in this channel this channel okay is a market sentiment okay a bullish momentum a bullish sentiment towards gold because if we have a, 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 a economic downtrend okay in a normal economic downtrend gold should be going up that's what we see okay so all this period of uncertainty was uh, uh, certified by gold going up okay if things start going up if things start improving like which we when we see the usd yen start rising big time when the dollar start gaining okay uh, excellent uh, uh, movement to the upside okay when we see excellent job creation in united states okay when things start getting better okay you will see that gold will start going down okay because when gold is going up it's telling that things are getting bad so people are taking money out of the stock market into gold okay as insurance against uh, uh, the downtrend okay so this was happening here that's why the gold went up so when things start getting better people will take money out of gold and invest in the stock market so we will see whether there will be uh, a movement of liquidity from gold into the stock market we will see that okay so you know we see on a monthly chart i will show you quickly on my special uh, yearly chart on this chart uh, you can see that in 2007 the gold did rise this is uh, the time that this is an uh, early investor they those are smart traders who knew that uh, a downtrend is about to begin the smart money looking at the stock market at this point in time knew that the stock market is due for excellent correction okay remember clearly those days where uh, uh, the market was due to come down but people were busy selling like a mart the people were busy buying like mad 
until uh, the whole thing everybody had to sell at the same time. Now, right now, looking at the, the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, it, we are experiencing similar situation again, where you see that the market was going up, non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. It's a bit scary, in my view. The market can continue to go up as you like, but be very, very cautious, okay, in this kind of a movement, okay, to the upside regarding the major indices. Be very, very cautious, okay? So trade like a pro and take only value signal, okay? Very, very, very important, okay? So these uh, investors here knew that uh, the market was due for downtrend and start buying gold. So 2007, we have excellent movement of gold. This is the indication at this point in time that the stock market is due to come down. We see the opposite here. In 2011, you see uh, you see that gold went down. The beginning of the year straight away, people were selling gold, you see. This is 2011 candle here, okay? Can you see? 2011, this is the 2000. People sold it up to 38% of uh, last year movement. So if I draw my Fibonacci investment level here for you, uh, this uh, charting is the opposite. I have to draw it for the Fibonacci investment level for this charting. Now you have to draw it the opposite way, uh, down to uh, this level here. Okay, so this is uh, my... Uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, um, drawing on this chart, okay, for the year 2010, okay, so this year 2010, I draw my Fibonacci, just on this level here, you can see beginning of the year, the pride, the people did uh, sell this uh, gold up to the zone of 38% Fibonacci retracement level, okay, they did, they did sell it, okay, that's why I'm drawing my uh, horizontal line here you can see that people sold it beginning of the year down to near the 38 percent fibonacci adjustment level which is a very excellent uh, support level so that's why people bought it again up to this level here now now if this is truly a valid 38 percent fibonacci adjustment level the next target for gold will be in the zone of uh, 138 up to maximum 1618 okay fibonacci projection zone i repeat if this 38% Fibonacci adjustment level is a valid support level as people bought it up to this level now, okay, the price should continue in normal condition up to the zone of 138 or 161% Fibonacci, okay, uh, projection zone. But we will watch carefully. There is a last year, the high, you have to pay attention to last year high, okay, which the smart money will be watching carefully here. This level of 1432 one four three two okay one four three two this is the high of last year so this small money knew very well this level of one four three two so you must also pay attention to it you can see that the price tried to go above it and this the the, the it found a bit of resistance there as you can see this candle here because uh, my thing is blocking the candle so i have to move it away okay so you can see that uh, if any resistance at this zone uh, last year uh high the high of last year because in the uptrend this high must be taken out this high okay the price must display a new high in order to validate the uptrend also in the uptrend we want to see higher lows and higher highs and the last year high is still here the price tried to go above it in 2011 and people sold it back below it so we are watching carefully this level of 1432 does it mean that you go and sell anyhow no you wait for a clear cut signal to sell before you sell but the price did retrace up to 38 percent of last year candle Okay, we have uh, this supposed to be a valid uh, support level. People bought it up to this level here, but found a resistance there at the level of uh, last year high. Okay, you can perfectly look at the yearly chart, draw not down the, the, the high and the middle line of last year and the, and the low of last year. These are very key levels the professional are watching carefully for every stock. Okay, every commodity so when the price goes below the low of last year that's bearish and even if the price is trading below the the the, the, the middle line of last year that's a bearish zone but if it drop below the low of last year it's considered also bearish so when we go above the high of last year that's a new high that's bullish so people are looking for opportunity to buy but do you just buy because that's why this is the major issue that we are trying to address in this market that's why we will use the tscwsy08 or the tscwsy008 to enter the trade because what was happening before trader will place order to sell here or place order to buy above here now sometimes it works sometimes it does not work because they are hoping for something to happen if it does not happen 
they will lose. That's what's happened. Instead of waiting for something to happen first and to verify that the thing has happened truly before you enter the trade. That's our approach. So we will see clearly that now people start selling, okay, and then we will sell. We do not just guess that to be aggressive trader. That's no. Uh, that's not our approach, okay? At the resistance level, the price can break the resistance level and they find support above the resistance level, okay? And continue the movement to the upside or break the resistance level only to fail to find support above the resistance level and come back down or the price may find a resistance right there. So three things. So you are betting only on one if you are placing order here to sell, which means the price will definitely find a resistance right there and you will completely disregard the other two possibilities, which means the price going above and finding support, okay, or the price going above and failing to find a support. So you are taking only one option, which means the price will definitely find a resistance there. That's what people are doing and they are gambling. That's it's just pure gambling, okay? Unless you have a lot of money like the bank to play that kind of game. So this is what we see on a yearly chart, okay? Moving on very fast. We look on the monthly chart already. That's what we see. It's a bullish. And uh, as I said to you before, okay? Now, another thing we see that it's a rising channel. The price in the lower part is uh, a bit of weakness in the in this uh, bullish momentum. If it pop out, okay? We are watching this uh, edge here. Another thing that you see, you see how the price drop from here down to this level here. You can perfectly draw again the range as we did for the crude oil. You draw the range where the price did uh, give the invitation card to, so to speak, okay, uh, to to new buyers to come into the market. You see this range here, okay. You can perfectly draw that range, okay. If you if you bear with me, I play with for this uh, uh, simple charting. I like it very much, okay, because it's so simple. So from here down to here, this is our our it's not perfect one but accept it so the price drop from here to here you can draw this channel the price pop out of it you project that channel to the other side okay so you project that channel uh, if i do my uh, equal uh, measure that will bring me in this uh, session here if you allow me that okay i think uh, uh, that's it yeah that will be somewhere here for equal measure of to here okay down to here okay so this channel up to here we project it to the other side we bring that to this zone here so we just break uh, uh the second channel here which is in this level here uh here okay in the zone of um, and this uh, level of in the zone of uh, 1366 uh, for gold okay so we are above that that's perfectly bullish uh, what we should do is to project uh, the same measure to the other side. We do not have room to draw it on this part. So just uh, think of it that uh, the, the gold is still in a bullish zone. If it cross below, the key level you must pay attention to is the, the one three uh, one three six one three six six six. Okay, the level of one three six six. Okay, one three six six. That's the level you must watch carefully. One three six six. Okay, so the price did. Uh, uh, crossing below here before and I found a support at the edge here and went back up okay we will we keep watching this level of 1366 okay and also the high okay which of last year which is 1432 okay and this level of 1366 these are very important level if the price come back again below the 1366 that's a clear weakness which will bring us outside uh, the channel here okay quickly moving to the a daily chart okay of uh, this uh, uh, gold okay now i will remove all my drawing on this uh, uh, daily chart so we can see things better here on the daily chart somebody looking at daily chart what do we see we see a clear cut uh, uh, range here that the price was in a range this range here where i'm drawing my uh, vertical my uh, i will put it up to this level here and consider everything below as exaggeration here okay the price was in this channel here a uh, similar to what i was showing you uh on the other chart okay the same channel we have we still in the bullish zone which is above here in the zone of uh uh no it's a uh, quite high this one we are in the zone of uh, 1420 okay we'll watch carefully this level also 14 1420 1420 we watch carefully this level of 1420 if the price come back below the 1420 we watch that carefully this zone here so this was something here on the daily chart or the blah 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 at the edge here and uh, the price there is a small channel here uh, the price is in this small channel here we watch carefully what's happening in this small channel also here okay so your eyes is clearly on this you see that the price stuck in this zone uh, uh, since uh, march uh, 
uh, beginning of March, uh, went down first and then stuck here. This is what I'm talking about, beginning of the year, or the blah, blah, blah. So we watch carefully gold here, okay? As soon as uh, uh, we see a clear cut signal to sell, we will sell, okay? So this is just a technical analysis regarding uh, uh, gold, okay? And I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this video uh, that uh, you will uh, put it into practice in order to cream the market uh, uh, consistently. Thank you for watching and uh, speak to you soon.